Um, hello, Kevin. How you doing? Everybody, uh, we're with Kevin Valley. Um, this is our second podcast. This is kind of a catch up from Heck yeah. the first one about a year ago, uh, yeah. where we shared your testimony. So we're just we're just going to kind of catch up where you are, what's going on in your life today. Okay. Uh, but before we get started, let's go ahead and pray, and then uh, we'll get started. <laughs> Lord Heavenly Father, uh, thank you so much uh, for Kevin. Thank you for his uh, willingness to be here today, God. We just pray that you uh, give him the words to share uh, with our group, and uh, Lord, just uh, bless our time together and watch over us and navigate this conversation. So. Lord, just be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right on, man. So right thanks on. all for being here. No problem, dude. I so love this. So it's been about a year, right? Yeah, yeah. A little, that's, yeah, I think it's been almost exactly, yeah. Cool. So the first time we got together, it was more of your testimony. Yeah. And kind of like your journey and how you got to Street Life. So you've been with Street Life how long now? Dude, I think it's, what is it, eight years? Eight years? Yeah. 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 yeah, eight years solid, bro. Eight years Not solid. bad. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. So let's see. That's uh, so. The last time we met was a year ago. Was your daughter? Your daughter wasn't married yet. She wasn't married yet. No. So your daughter got married. Yeah, she did. To so the Marine how, how, in Oahu. Yeah. And how? And how is that as a papa? He's a he's a good man. A very good, very honorable man. So yeah. I, I have no worries about my daughter, you know? Yeah. And she's doing real good. She's trying to fit into the the role she has being a uh, a military wife, which can't be easy, you know? I mean, he had to go at one point to Arizona for some kind of maneuvers or something, and she's still in Hawaii. And uh, so she's not around her husband at all. Hmm. And that's like for two, three months of the shot, you know? So... But he's coming up on the end of duty, and uh, they're going to be moving back over to the contiguous 48, and uh, she's going to be living in Dublin. Oh, so they're going to live start close, with. close Yeah, to they're going to be real close for a while. So That's awesome. So that's really awesome. Yeah. And then he'll be out of the military? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he's, okay. He's moving from, he's a communications specialist in, in the Marines, so he's going to try and parlay that into something, you know. Cool. Yeah, Dublin's a good space for him to do that, so. Cool. You know, yeah. They look like they're doing okay. I mean, they're not having money problems, which is nice. Give them time, they will. <laughs> you know, but. <laughs> well, let's hope not. Yeah, I mean, how I do every day, but yeah. still, you yeah. know, it's uh, it's been real good. Been yeah. real good, man. So, we, uh, so what else is new in your life? Went to Hawaii. Oh, Kauai. Yeah. And uh, Kauai was awesome. Kauai changed a lot of things for me, actually. I spent some time kind of getting out of my head so much you know and I was wearing white shirts and stuff and and you know and trying to throw a little color into my monochrome life so but the cool part is I was able to go I contributed I made it happen you know and and, and you know Vicky of course did too she you wouldn't have believed the place we stayed in and 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 the car I was driving I was driving a uh convertible Mustang GT, five liter V8. It was pretty cool, man. I mean, yeah. you know, I ain't gonna be doing that around here anytime soon. So, you know, I stick to my truck and I'm good. Is that know. your first time in Hawaii? First time ever. First, first time, time ever. ever. So that felt pretty good, huh? Dude, it was amazing. And so much, they were real careful about COVID, but it was still, you didn't have to wear your mask everywhere, you know? I mean, we went up to, uh, what the, what? Holy Waipoli Canyon to see, uh, uh, I always call it the uh, uh, Malfi Coast or something. That's not the right word for it. But uh, you can see all the coasts. You see uh, in Kauai, it's kind of like a circle, but you can only come in at like two o'clock and you can only drive to like 10 o'clock on the island. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we take this, this, drive up the up the canyon and everything you can see the whole space of area that you can't actually drive on so it's it's supposed to be really beautiful unfortunately i never made it up to the very top because it was too far to walk yeah but i was close <laughs> you there know you i was there you know that's cool and it was pretty cool man we had we had some people stop on the other side of the road and bring over a drone at one point i didn't realize drones were illegal there <laughs> Oh, really? So I was watching the drone because I'd never seen one at 2,500 feet. And all of a sudden, this red and white helicopter started coming to us. I have no doubt they got a great picture of my face and another great picture of my my license plate. So we got out of there pretty quick. 
<laughs> you know, and, and kept heading up, dude. I never saw those people again, but it was fun, man. Interesting. Really fun. Interesting. Are they illegal in Hawaii? Well, they're illegal on the on the canyon because there's two Navy installations there, Tonight. telescopes. You know, interesting. So well, those drones won't fly in airspace because they're they're. they're they, yeah, dude. That's interesting. You must have something. This in one, it. yeah, it was it was gorgeous because this whole. I wish I could show you a picture, but I didn't bring my tablet. But it just looks like the land before time. It was amazing, dude. It was really amazing. Cool. <laughs> it was, cool. Yeah. Cool. So and then you know, ate a lot of food that I normally wouldn't be able to afford. You know, and and had a good time, man. I had a great time. There was nothing bad about that whole trip. That's you awesome. Know? We chilled. It was it was hotter than heck over there, but you know. close to water, so it's okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's okay. You know, you just and I loved island time. I'll be there in fifteen minutes. Could be a half hour because you're on island time. You know, and that that was pretty cool. So <laughs> those are my favorite things, man. But it, it went really well. The whole thing went really well. My brother got married. Oh yeah, that was the most important part. That's the reason I went. But. Uh, uh, the place where he got married was absolutely beautiful. It was all landscaped and, and it's just amazing, man. And, and it only took like 15 minutes for the ceremony, but they'd been together for seven years. You know, it, it was all they needed really was the words and everything to, to make it real finally. So now they're husband and wife and I feel a little better about that because, you know, I mean, living in sense cool, I guess, but not that cool. <laughs> so <laughs> there's, a, there's a point where you got to marry her, you know, so. That's I cool. think my brother hit that point. So I, I guess I never even asked this question. Your mom was there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, did you and your mom have a good time? We hung out. Yeah, we hung out on, uh, well, back then it was a Saturday and uh, spent the whole day together. And I was talking to my mom last night. She said that it was it was one of the highest points of her trip. Yeah. Which was, yeah, because, well, we had it. We were set up, man. We were really, so we you were and your good. mom getting along really good? Really still? well really well yeah no resentments no no on either just, side when i came out her after after 10 years i said you know hey look i don't know if we could fix it if we go and dissect everything so if we just throw that as the you know that's happened 10 years ago and just move forward i think we'll be okay and i think i was right I cool think i was right yeah because and she's been able to maintain that yeah absolutely absolutely that's really cool yeah it really is man that's a god it, thing it was kind of cool because when my brother was getting married the guy that was doing the ceremony started uh calling out the kako who is the the hawaiian god right mm -hmm. and uh <clears throat> he was saying you know mahalo kakoa and my mom whispered in my ear if that dude shows up run like hell <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, if that dude shows up, I kind of wanted to shake his hand once, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> it was pretty cool, man. It was, That's we cool. still do our thing, you know, we still, apparently I look a whole bunch like her father. I didn't know that, but somebody that she knew way back in the day, little Tony, I don't, I'd never met him. I don't know who he is, but mm -hmm. little Tony got, saw it on Facebook, the picture of me and my brother and my mom and said that I was a spitting image of her father. Really? And she was like, wow. Actually, yeah, you are. <laughs> you know, his name was Clayton. So here's to you, Clayton. Awesome. Mahalo, bro. But yeah. You never was, met him? I never met him, no. 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 Most of the older folks in my family, the only ones I ever knew were my aunt and uncle, my grandma. Okay. The rest okay. were pretty much gone before I had any real clue. Cool. So. And how's... um. And so since the last time we got together, we started another night. Yeah. Future. So we've got Friday nights. Yeah. So how's that how's that going? Oh, uh, you know how it is when we start a new night, man. It's 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 slow at first and then it'll start to gather steam and there's points where it it, it has gathered steam and there's points where it hasn't and we just keep rolling because at some point it's just going to normalize out like the Mondays and Wednesdays did, you know? Yeah. It's it's really, it's not bad. I enjoy being there another night. You know, I love hanging out there. Cool. That's my space. That's where I'm, I'm me the most. Sure. So, sure. so opening up another night was definitely the way to go with me anyway. I was cool with it. Yeah. You know? And I take it we're looking at new security. Oh, yeah. To help out, right? We got Efren. We got Kevin Moxini. Yeah. And these guys were, you know, Muxini was an ex-Heller Street boy. Yeah. You know, Efren, he's got his own backstory, which is amazing. And and so 
people walk in and see them because I can't get down to the gate like I used to because I've got some foot problems. But uh, so I stay by the tent. But these two in front, man, everybody's pretty pretty mellow once they get to me. So <laughs> it's working out real good. It, it really is. I'm proud of these guys, man. They're making it happen. You know. Cool. Yeah, I love it because you know somebody who likes doing it like I'd like doing it. I can I can build that. You know, I right. can build up that real quick and and. I couldn't before, you yeah. know, but I think I think it's going to go better now. I really do. You know, it's it's really just a matter of showing them what I do, you know, and yeah. for the most part, they've already been doing that most of their lives, you know, which is really cool. So it's not hard for them to to switch it up a little bit and just kind of see how it is here at Street Life, you know, because for the most part, Street Life is pretty mellow. You know, there's only every once in a while. There might be a, an issue or a problem that that requires getting burly or whatever, but not as much as it used to. Not be. Not as much as it used to be, man. Yeah, you it's know, pretty mellowed out. Yeah, I mean, in the beginning it was rough, but I expected it to be rough. I wanted it to be rough. You know, I did. Yeah. You know, because otherwise I'm not in my element. <laughs> so, yeah. so, but you know, and and there were ups and there were downs and. I think right now we're in that spot where it's just sweet, you know? We're just kind of rolling right in the sweet spot. I think we're doing real good. I yeah. think we're doing real good. I mean, I look forward to you doing your sermon. I look forward to looking over and see Vic working with the with the volunteers to get the bags full and everything. Then we get the lineup. We get through the bags and, and the food and everything. And uh, really, it's just a matter of cleaning up and going home. Yeah. It's, you know, we, get, we have time to... to interact all the time there which is cool because you can be doing one thing and be talking to somebody at the same time and they get it you know yeah. which is really cool and uh i'm just i'm real proud of the whole deal right now i'm thinking i'm thinking this is this was the way we needed to go and i think this is really cool because it's working sure you know sure people are seeing it man and there's they're understanding what we're doing in the big scheme which is really important to me you know, we, we're we not here to screw people up and we're sure as heck not here to tell people get the heck out of here. We're more here to kind of, kind of, I don't know if it's push is the right word, but, but to drive them to want to do better. You know what I'm saying? You think that's happening? I do. I do. Now I'm not saying everybody's trying to do better, but you know, if it catches on one head and one person does better, I see that as a win for the whole team. Sure, I really do, and and I love it. I love it when I, I'm talking to talking to Efren, you know, and me and him have a lot of really similar experiences and everything, which is I've never had that before. You know, it really I've never had that before, and it's it's been good, man. Me and him, we talk a lot. We it, it's it, I don't know how to put it other than it's been really cool. You know, right. Finally got somebody that I can say, wow, man, this is kind of like, and he'd be like, yeah, it totally is, right? And and, and uh, so that's been good for me, you know, it makes my head mellow down. And so I don't think so hard about what if this guy's going to screw up or what if this guy's going to screw up because, you know, I got to worry about me not screwing up. You know, that's what, what the important part is. And, and everybody else is going to do what they do and things will happen according to how they do it, you know? Sure. We're, we're good. We're yeah. good. Any exciting, like, testimonies or any anything that you've seen in the last since year that you've been from the last podcast to this podcast that you've seen at Street Life Ministries? Like, you're like, wow, I didn't see that one coming? No, not really. I, I, uh, I, I saw a lot of it coming. <laughs> okay, yeah. but uh, I don't really want to get into that. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The good stuff. Good stuff has been, you know, I mean, we're still going. We still got power. We still got the ability to move ourselves. You know, we, we opened up a whole nother day. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you come to Street Life, get yourself a, a meal in Redwood City, you know. That's great stuff, man. Because before it was just Monday and Wednesday, and you had to suck it in until next Monday. Mm -hmm. You know, now you don't got to do that. And that, I like that. Uh do you think the folks will appreciate it? I do. I do. I think it's, like I said, it starts off slow, but I think in the long run, they're going to be real grateful that that Friday's open because you only have, if anything, I mean, there's Saturday and St. Anthony's and Sunday we have a breakfast once a month. So there's only three weeks where you kind of have to tighten your belt to Monday. 
you right. know? Right. And that's important. You know, these guys, if nothing else, they need food because food drives everything else. You know, the, if your belly's full, you can think about what you're doing, you mm -hmm. know? And, and sure. You know, my belly is enormous because I've been full a lot, but you know what? My mind is clear now, which is kind of cool. You know, it hasn't, I, I've got voices in my head that tell me, you know, you're an idiot, you're an asshole, you're doing this, you're doing that wrong, whatever. I don't have that anymore. I'm, right now I'm at the most calm, the most relaxed that I think I've ever been in my life. And uh, street life is a large part of that because without street life, I would be a wreck. Hmm. So really, I, I need this as much as it needs me. You yeah. know, yeah. it's very symbiotic and, and I couldn't I couldn't deal if I didn't have street life, you know? I mean, sure. anything bad happens in this ministry, it's going to come through me first, you mm -hmm. know? And I'm telling you, it ain't going to be easy to get through me. <laughs> so that's the only thing I know for sure, you know? Everything yeah. else I can roll with the punches, but I know that part for sure. So as we, as we finish up, I wanted to ask you, so you know we're, we're in this beginning stages of, of creating a, a 12 month live in program rehab for yeah. men, faith based. Um, you coming from the streets and knowing a lot of the people on the streets, I'd, lo I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on how you think that'll be accepted and, and, and. I think it'll be, I think, I think it'll be a little slow at first because when you're using, the last thing you want to do is admit you got a problem. But you're using, so there's already a problem. And, and I don't think a lot of people get that. You know, you're doing it to have fun. You're doing it for this, that, or the other thing. Well, what happens when you're doing it and it's not fun anymore? Mm. You know, I mean, I was doing that for years and it wasn't fun. Mm. It was a lot of things, but fun wasn't one of the words I'd have right. used. Yeah. So, <clears throat> in so far as a, as a rehab facility goes, I think we've got a better shot than a lot of them because we take it serious. We take this whole thing seriously. You know, it's not just about making you stop putting stuff up your nose. It's about making sure that you know how to balance your checkbook so you have food next week, you mm -hmm. know? Stuff like that. Stuff that other places ain't gonna teach you, you know? And that's what's so cool about street life. And that's why I've given it everything I got, man. I mean, you guys pulled me out of the streets. You guys, you gave me a place to be and a reason to be accepted mm -hmm. and, and yeah, that was huge. That was freaking huge. It, it just was, you know? And, and I have never forgotten, and I never will. Because this is, for me, this is the entire world. Now, I know there's a much bigger world out there. I just saw it. I went to Kauai. But I don't really care. The fact is, street life is here. And we're doing all this stuff, but it keeps getting bigger. Yeah. You know, and so even after I'm gone, you know, people are dancing on my grave or yours or, or Vicky's or whatever, you know, we're all we still got to remember that, you know, it all started here. It all started here. It's what we did. And, and that's something to be freaking proud of. You know, we're yeah. I mean, you're a good man, David. You just are, hmm. you know, and, and it ain't been easy for you. And I know it for a fact. I've known you for a long time now. <laughs> you know, it ain't been easy, dude. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been easy for me either. I had to reintegrate into society, dude. Right. And, right. and that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> but, sure. But here we are, you right. know. And, and you're the man at the top of the chain for street life. And, and you know, you, you're, doing, you're doing so much more than you were back in the day because back in the day, we didn't know what the hell was going on really. You know, we were, right. we were going day to day to see if this would work. I remember those days and nowadays it's, it's just like, okay, well, Kevin Vick, you'll be here, I'll be over here and, you know, let's let it roll. And it rolls. It's, mm. it, it works. And, and I don't think a lot of people understand, but I know you do when I tell you how proud I am of you. Oh, thank you. So, well, it takes a, a good team. We've takes got a really, village, bro. We have a, very, we have a very good team. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just a small part of that team, but it, nah, but, but it all the, works. You're the top of the team, though. Dog. That's the way it's <laughs> yeah, got to be. Which is good and bad. Some days it all yeah. depends. It all depends on which way the wind's blowing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we need drivers too. We got to get some drivers. Yes, man. drivers. We drivers. Need drivers. Yeah, we need drivers, guys. So if you got a chance, or if you feel like you want to help out, but you don't know how you want to help out, get a hold of us because we got a position for you. I guarantee it. There you go.
Volunteer. Volunteer position. Vol- yeah, volunteer. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got a position, all right. <laughs> so that way Vicky's emails aren't filled with how much. <laughs> yeah. Just you paid per hour. Right, right. <laughs> Which is kind of hard when it's a, an hour and a half position. Dude, for real, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get so a that, bunch of uh, handshakes and thank yeah. <laughs> So cool. Thank you, Kevin. It's my pleasure, Appreciate man. your time and uh, just kind of catching up. And stuff. Ah, I love you, bro. Love you too, brother. All thank right, you, man. God bless. Thanks a lot.